So as some of you may know, there are lots and lots of different iPhones available for the average person. But there are some differences between the iPhones that have one camera and the iPhones that have multiple cameras, like two and three sensors. So why does Apple even do this? And what are the advantages of going up and upgrading from an iPhone that has one camera to two to three different sensors? Now, this is a very, very funny thing. Because first of all, for the iPhones that have a single camera, these are more of the older ones. These are ones that typically have came out probably before 2016. These are, you know, the single camera sensors. But these also include iPhones like the iPhone SE third generation that Apple is still currently selling. Now, the other, you know, the dual camera sensors, these are very, very common. And these are all over the place. And these are iPhones that have a wide and ultra wide camera usually. But the first couple iPhones Apple made with the dual camera setup, these things had a wide and telephoto lenses. So these are a little bit different because you can't zoom out that much, but you but you can zoom in noticeably more than if you just had that wide angle sensor. Now, nowadays we have triple camera sensors on majority of iPhones and in the future, I'm sure we're gonna have four and five different sensors. So what are the differences here? It really comes down to one, the amount you can zoom in and zoom out of a photo and two, the quality of those lenses. Typically, I would say iPhones that have a single camera setup are not as good as you know iPhones that have two camera setups and two camera iPhones are not as good as three camera iPhones. Now, this also changes completely if you're talking about an iPhone 11 Pro, which came out in 2019 with three camera sensors and an iPhone 15 that has a dual camera setup, you know, that's a, you know, 2023 20, type of phone. Now, the big differences here is that if you are getting an iPhone like the iPhone 11 Pro, for example, although it has three cameras, that camera is not as good as the iPhone 15 camera. And that's kind of just what happens when you're getting these types of devices, because when you're getting the latest and greatest, like on the iPhone 15, for example, you're getting an iPhone with 10x zoom and you're getting a very, very good sensor and it's better overall than the iPhone 11 Pro which came out so many years ago. So that's kind of like one thing to keep in mind here. Now with something like the iPhone 15 Pro, the differences between the 15 and the 15 Pro, there's a lot of them. One, you are getting that extra dual, you know, you're getting that extra telephoto lens. So you're getting the capability of zooming in a lot more into a photo. This can be a major, you know, feature if you're trying to go ahead and if you're in public and if you're going places, this can be a major thing if you're wanting to go ahead and just be able to, you know, zoom in into a subject and take a photo from a very far, you know, place. There were cases before where if you had a triple camera iPhone or, you know, a single, you know, dual camera iPhone, you would get features that a single camera iPhone would not be able to get things like portrait mode and other things like that across the board. Apple has since kind of removed those specific, you know, you know, limitations. So you don't really have to deal with those things anymore. But before that was kind of the case. So really, it just comes down to how much you're zooming in and zooming out of a photo. Beyond that, you're basically getting a lot of the same type of capability between a dual camera setup and a triple camera, you know, setup iPhone. But this is a big thing. If you're trying to go ahead and if you're trying to go through and like, you know, get the best type of quality, going from a single camera to a dual camera iPhone is a much bigger change nowadays than a dual camera to a triple camera because Apple doesn't really make like single camera iPhones anymore unless you're talking about the iPhone SE third generation. So kind of keep that in mind, but that's kind of the big differences between a single dual and a triple camera iPhone. And I would definitely recommend upgrading if you're coming from a single to dual, but going from dual to triple, if you have the money, go for it. But it's not the biggest deal in the world. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.